Okay, we're going to leave those results there for a moment. And we're going to now introduce one more access system that's going to allow us to make some very important simplifications. So we're going to introduce the idea of stability axes and the associated derivatives. So remember that the body axes, xb, yb, and zb, are specified relative to the geometry of the aircraft. But the axes that really matter are those that are parallel and perpendicular to the incoming flow or the flight direction, and we call these the stability axes, xb prime, zb prime, which are rotated about yb, which is the same as yb prime, by the free stream angle of attack alpha. And I'll illustrate that here. So here's our aircraft fuselage, some wing. And we'll say that the aircraft velocity is in this direction, U. with vertical component V and body axes and horizontal component or an X body component U. So the X body axis is parallel to this. There's our X body axis. The Z body axis will be per perpendicular, whereas the stability Z axis points straight down and the stability X axis points straight forward. So this is XB, this is XB prime, this is ZB, this is ZB prime. Now CL, the lift coefficient, is perpendicular to the flight direction which means it's in the negative ZB prime direction. And the drag coefficient is in the XB prime negative direction. And we can define all our moments. So this is CL and uh, P bar is rotation about this axis. This angle is alpha, and then about this axis we would have CL prime and P bar prime. Similarly, about the Z body axis, we have CN and R bar, whereas about the Z stability axis, we have CN prime and R bar prime. So basically, this axis is just a rotation of the body axes by alpha. So the reason that this axis system matters is because the stability derivatives in stability axes have minimal variation with the trim angle of attack alpha naught when they're expressed in the stability axis. So if the flight is unstalled, then we'll have CL R prime and CN P prime are basically both proportional to CL at the trim state, and all other derivatives are essentially constant for all values of lift coefficient. So this is a huge simplification to the stability and control problem. And so we define a new rotation matrix to let us go between body and stability axes as the matrix S, which is just cos alpha, sine alpha, minus sine alpha, 
cos alpha. And this goes from stability to body axis. You can also get the derivative of this, the S D alpha, which will just be minus sine alpha cos alpha minus cos alpha minus sine alpha. So now we can relate the forces, moments, uh, and angular velocities in the two systems. So we could write Cx, Cz equals S negative Cd negative Cl and Cl Cn is S times Cl prime Cn prime. And finally, P bar R bar is S P time uh, P bar prime R bar prime. Since the rotation is about the Z uh, sorry the Y axis, which is the same in both body and stability axes. then c y c m and q bar are the same in both the body body and stability axes we also need to uh the body axis derivatives in terms of the stability axis quantities with respect to alpha. So that would be C X alpha, C Z alpha. This is given by D S D alpha at the trim state times negative C D naught, negative C L naught plus S times negative C D alpha negative C D negative C L alpha. And if we were to write that out in full, then what we get is this minus sine alpha cos alpha minus cos alpha minus sine alpha times minus C D naught minus C L not plus cos alpha sine alpha minus sine alpha cos alpha times minus C D alpha minus C L alpha. For alpha much smaller than one, then cos alpha is essentially one and Sine alpha is essentially alpha. And also because we have CL naught should be much larger than CD naught, then we can write that CX alpha, CZ alpha is approximately alpha. CD naught plus CL naught minus CD alpha plus alpha CD alpha and negative CD naught plus alpha CL naught minus alpha CL alpha minus CL alpha. But this term, this term, this term, this term, and this term 
are all approximately zero due to these simplifying assumptions. Which means that we can greatly simplify this to Cx alpha Cz alpha equal uh, is approximately equal to Cl naught minus Cd alpha negative Cl alpha. Similarly, for the moment derivatives with respect to beta and the controls, um, we can obtain Cl beta Cn beta equals the transformation matrix of the trim state times Cl beta prime Cn beta prime and that's going to be approximately Cl beta prime minus alpha naught Cn beta prime and C n beta prime plus alpha naught C L beta prime. And for the controls, C L delta, C n delta, and this can be any control, it doesn't matter. Will be S naught. C L delta prime, C N delta prime, and that's approximately C L delta prime minus alpha naught C N delta prime and C N delta prime plus alpha naught C L delta. So these give us all of the transformations between uh, body and stability axes that we need.